And finally, new rule, you can't have so much money that my computer's spell check doesn't know what to call you. Jeff Bezos is poised to be the world's first trillionaire, the headline says. Even my phone was like, that can't be right. But it probably is, because we now live in an age not of innovation, but of domination. Startups are in a 13-year slump, and financing is down 22% from eight years ago, because in the online marketplace, Amazon has become the only game in town. And that was before an event happened that made everyone stay home and order everything online. Yeah, I mean, predictably, once the virus hit and America locked itself upstairs like a babysitter hiding from a slasher, sure, of course, the rest of the economy cratered. But Amazon stock price is up 25%. That's what I call asymptomatic. Places like J. Crew and Stage Stores, Neiman Marcus, J.C. Penney, Sears, Pier One, they're all throwing in the towel, as it seems one of the unintended consequences of our corona response is everyone going out of business at the same time, except Amazon. While we're all inside getting softer and hairier, it's out there getting bigger and stronger. Amazon sells 119 million different items. And when one supplier brings you everything, you're not a customer, you're a dependent. And I haven't even mentioned that Amazon often pays no taxes and bathroom breaks for their workers are so infrequent they have to pee into bottles.